Hi everyone, now we will learn how we can connect Laravel with the MySQL database. And you can ask one question there, like we have lots of other databases also. For example, we have uh, Oracle, MongoDB, SQL Server. So why we are using MySQL database there? See, when we are making projects in Laravel and PHP, most of the time we have to use MySQL database. So that's why in term of database, in this series, we will focus only on the MySQL. But yes, we will also learn how we can connect Laravel with the MongoDB, Oracle and SQL Server at the last of this series. Alright, so first we will make database in MySQL and see, we already installed PHP MyAdmin with XAMPP. I already told you like how we can install XAMPP and PHP MyAdmin in this series at the starting of the videos. Right, so that's why we will use PHP MyAdmin so that easily we can use MySQL database. We don't need to run uh, SQL queries directly on the command line. We can directly use this interface, right? This will help us a lot and save our time a lot. Right, so first we will make database in uh, MySQL. After that, we will update our uh, Laravel env file because in this file, we have to set the configuration for MySQL database and uh, Laravel connectivity. After that, we have to run migration. So we will learn like how we can connect MySQL database with migration and without migration. So we'll learn both things, right? After migration, we will make controller and route for it. And then we will get the data from database and check our connection is working fine and we are able to get the data from database or not, all right? And after that, as I told you, we'll learn how we can use a database uh, with the MySQL database with the Laravel without migration. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions also, all right? This is the playlist of Laravel 11 series and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job, interviews. Link is given in the description box. You can access this playlist from there. All right. So first, let's uh, open our PHP admin. And for that, keep in mind, uh, in XAMPP, your MySQL database and Apache server should be running. If you are, they are not running, then you can start, right? So there, what you can do, uh, you can, if you just open the PHP MyAdmin, you will see this kind of interface. After that, you can click on database and you can create your first database, right? Even if you want to use the command line, you can use this part, this tab. Otherwise, if you want to create database directly with the user interface, you can use that way, right? So just put, uh, select Laravel. Even you can create, you can put any name to this database. For example, ABC, Apple, school, user, whatever you want. So I'm putting there Laravel, all right? And after creating this, you don't need to create any table that will be automatically created whenever we will use migration. So migration, what actually it will do, it will push some data in our database from the Laravel, right? And in upcoming part, we'll talk about more in case of migration, seeding and database, right? So, so for now, you can understand like if we will run migration, it will some put uh, tables in our database with some data also, all right? So next thing we have to update our env file. So you can open your project. Let me close each and every file. And then on the root of our project, you will find their .env file. So first you need to update the database connection, whatever database you are using. For example, now we are using MySQL. So just put their MySQL uh, in small cases. And you have to uncomment this, these details like uh, DB host is should be exactly same. Database name, whatever you are putting there, as I told you, like we are putting Laravel only. So if you are putting Apple, ABC, whatever you are putting name there, right, you have to put the same name in the DB database. After that, username. So by default, uh, DB username is root and password is null. And if you made any change for username and password, you have to put, you have to uh, put the detail accordingly. All right. So just keep in mind this thing, session driver. So whenever we'll try to connect database, it will throw an error. While we, it will throw error, how we can fix it, I'll let you know. But just uh, keep in mind this, like session driver will cause one issue. All right, and see, this is not like uh, Laravel issue. So you have to uh, fix some configuration and you have to run migration to fix this, right? So this is not any bug, don't worry about this. Okay, so after this, what we have to do, we have to run migration, but first let's uh, try to access our project. So there you can see, Okay, let me check the root. If I'm going to the root web.php, welcome should be there on the root, right? So if I'm running 8000 port, you can see that we have one error, which is laravel.session table is not exist in database. 
you can fix this thing with one line so if i am directly putting their file i'll let you know what is the meaning of file there and run it again you will see this is working fine but what is this issue let's see so by default laravel what is saying so whatever we will put in the session right session is a feature of a, almost every programming language we'll talk about this in later right so uh, if the session will be stored in the database and in which table it will be stored it will be stored in the uh, sessions table but this is not exist in our database you will see that in laravel we don't have any database so if we change it in the file then the session will actually not stored in the database this will stored in the file only right but let's go with the default mode database and as you can see there we have an error so how you can fix this for that what you need to do you can stop your php artisan terminal and just run a command php artisan migrate and then you will find for now there is a no table in the laravel right laravel database and if you will run you will find some table refresh it and here you can see that and there we have the sessions table also after that if you refresh uh, okay we have to run again php artisan server you will find there is a no error this is perfectly working fine right so this is uh, the one thing we should uh, keep in mind like we have to run the migration right and now you can ask like how we can do it without migration if you simply change it in the case of directly file you can uh, use and connect the database directly without migration right and tell you in the detail just for now uh, run the migration and the next thing is we have to make a controller so let me make controller php artisan make controller and okay i have to put in the small cases and your controller name so my controller name is let's say user controller enter and here you can see that now we have a controller inside at http and there so let me create a function and function name is let's say users and it will let's say return something for example you see this is returning users function write something and now let's try to call it from the web.php file so what we need to do you have to import user namespace so put there use this and after that you can put user controller right and let's make a route for it get and inside this get let me put their users and then in second parameter use user controller class colon colon class and the second parameter the put the function name which is this one so users all right okay so now what we can do we can if we just try to reach the users and again we have to run our php artisan server again if you just run the users you can see that user function is working right here you can see that okay so the next thing is we want to connect the database and which table we want to connect there because at the time we can fetch the data only from one table users if you'll open this user table you will see there is a no data so i will just add some data there directly with the insert tab but let's see if there is a no data then what result will come uh, get there right so come to the there and after that what you need to do simply import the database library for that what you need to do use illuminate and after that you have to put support and after that facades mm, i think this is the correct spell and after that db like this all right yeah and then what you can simply do db colon colon select and you can put the command like select star from table name which is users so it should work fine and let's see what we are getting there let's refresh and here you can see that we are getting the empty array there so let's try to insert some data that me id will be auto incremented so let me put their name anil then email anil at the rate test.com and if you want to add some more data for example uh, let's say you want to add some uh, password and email verification and something 
then uh, create and update date whatever you want to put let me put update date also go now you can see that we have one data there and if you'll refresh here you can see that we are getting this data right password name everything is same let's add one more data sam sam at the rate test.com after that let's say email we can verify password one two three four five and go again now you can see that we have the two datas and if you'll refresh again we have two datas like sam only right this is working perfectly fine and the next thing is there we run the migration so let's say we don't want to run migration because till now we don't have much idea about migration so without migration how we can connect the database first thing uh, let's remove the migration and for that what you need to do remove or you can delete the database or you can remove these tables also so let's so let select the all of the tables or better to let's delete the database right and we'll create it again right so delete the database and then create database with the same name laravel right and now if you will see try to refresh it again you can see that laravel dot session error, error is there so now let's uh, you don't need to run migration what you need to do remove this session driver replace it from database to file and now you will see this error is gone but now we have issue for users table why users table because we are trying to fetch data there for users but we don't have any user table in the database so what you need to do you can create a table name of users and let's say it has four columns only first is id second is name third is email and fourth one is let's say phone number uh, id can be name only and it can be auto incremented and and let's say let me try to put it private okay this is the private right and after that name where care and limit is 100 id limit is 30 email is also where care with 100 character limit and phone number is also with a 30 character limit all right save it all right perfect so now we have to insert some data okay now we have table right now we have table you can see that but there is no data so if you'll refresh there will be no error but there is no data also the next thing is let's insert some data id will be auto incremented name is anil and email id is anil at the rate test.com and phone number is let's say one two three four five go and try to refresh there you can see that we are here with the data so similarly you can more entries and data will be displayed there so one more thing you can ask like this is some json and array and object thing why we are not showing and displaying the table or list in a proper like on the ui that will do in the upcoming part the point of this part is how we can connect database with the mysql that we learn in the upcoming part we will make it more better thank you so much interview question they can ask like what kind of changes we need to do in the env file how we can how we can uh, set the session driver here you can see that like session driver can be file or database and uh, how we can run migration therefore that we have to run uh, php migration to run a, a php migration command which is php artisan migrate right thank you so much and this is my paytm number for donation and i request you to please subscribe my channel share this video and share your feedback in comment section thanks guys